Hello everybody, my name is Zen and welcome to my beginner guide for how lucky hit chance affects everything in Diablo 4. This is one of those weird mechanics that is it's not very well explained within the game, but is a crucial thing that is uh, basically a running a bunch of your actual damage under the hood and you don't realize that this is a massive effect and it's really easy to just try to ignore it and let it go and that's totally fine but if you actually want to understand how your skills and your items are affecting your damage output this is really crucial just to understand this simple um, mechanic that has got a lot of complexity to it so I'm going to read off this description of the skill in my character sheet here because this will set us up for what we're going to talk about. So this says lucky hit chance bonus. Forget the bonus part of that just for a moment. We'll get back to that in a moment, but I have a 0% chance for it anyways. That's fine. That makes the math easier with how we do this. So the first little pip increases the chance of triggering lucky hit effects when your skills deal damage. What is a lucky hit effect? It is anything that has a percentile chance of happening. So <clears throat> let's say I have an item that has a 10% chance of dealing extra damage. Then you would assume that my lucky hit chance would have a 10% chance of that happening. No, no, no. <laughs> That's not actually the case because if we read the second pip, base lucky hit chance varies per skill. What does it mean by that? Well, if you have advanced tooltips turned on, which you definitely should, you could go over to your tooltip. And for my generator ability on my rogue, it says right there on the top, lucky hit chance 50%. What does that mean? Because wouldn't my percentile chance of the 10% extra chance to you know deal additional damage, wouldn't that be 10%? But then why does this also say 50%? Well, this number is a percentile of a percentile. So in this case... It is either 10% of 50% or 50% of 10%, whatever you want to do the math with there. Let's make it easy and say 50% chance of 10% is 5%, right? So if I have a 10% chance for something to have an effect, using this skill, this particular skill, we'll get to that again in just a moment, has a it has the 50% lucky hit chance, so it's 10% of 50%. So by using this skill, I would have a 5% chance of having that extra damage effect happen. This is a hypothetical. We'll go over a real world scenario in the game towards the end of this video. These skills have different lucky hit chances on them. My Twisting Blades has a 33% chance. My Shadow Imbuement also has a 33% chance. And my Shadow Step has a 100% chance. So if I had that 10% chance and I used my shadow step, it would be 10%. Yeah, you figured it out. Okay, it's easy math. It's easy math. Now let's quickly go back to this and read the final bit. If you have multiple lucky hit effects, their probabilities roll independently. Okay, that, that's nice to know. So if I have a 10% chance to deal extra damage and a 10% chance to reduce the cooldown on a skill, those are two separate effects, possibly from skills or items. These are hypothetical. Then both of them roll independent of each other, which means when I do my 100% chance on my shadow step, each of them have their 10% chance of happening when I use my shadow step. OK, so I think that that's a really easy baseline of understanding how that works. The, the complexity comes in with some additional maths here. So let's quickly go to my skill tree, which if you didn't know, by the way, this is a nice little thing. If you go to the keyword search, like I can clear all, but it, I could go straight to lucky hit and we can come in here. And you see all of the skills that have something with lucky hit or lit up. Nice little trick. But the two we're going to focus on on my rogue are Alchemist Fortune, which non-physical damage ideal has a 5% increased lucky hit chance. So basically my shadow imbuement <clears throat> would go up to 15% additional. We'll talk about how that is added in in just a moment. But then I also have second wind. Every 100 energy I spend grants 5% lucky hit chance for 5 seconds. That, again, has 3 points. So both of these each have a 15%, if I had all the skills in them, each had a 15% additional chance to uh, increase my lucky hit chance. But in this case, they would have to be a non-physical damage 
and I would also have to spend the 100. But let's just say I got the, the effect from both of those. I would have 30% extra chance to be thrown on to the end of the calculation. However, this stuff is additive, right? So that's why it would be 30%. It would be 15% from this, 15% from that. I would have a 30% additional chance for something to trigger on the final math. So what do I mean that by that? Well, let's finally jump in to the final example here, the, the real world example of how this math actually works in the game. I have this ring. It has a lucky hit effect on it, as you see there. Let's just quickly read through it. Damaging a chilled or frozen enemy with a shadow imbued. Again, my shadow imbuement is a buff that I put on myself. Uh, with a shadow imbued skill has a 75% chance to release an explosion that deals cold damage. So that's really nice. Here's the thing to keep in mind is this is damage a chilled or frozen enemy, which by its very nature means that unless I'm dealing damage to those things, then I'm not having this lucky hit effect even be rolled. So let's just take that, put that aside, and assume that I'm attacking a chilled or frozen enemy for the sake of the rest of the math. So I have a 75% chance to release an explosion on these abilities. If I was using my shadow step, it is a 100% lucky hit chance. So that 75% would be the 75%. Plus, you would then increase that. Let's say I had both of those, um, both of those uh, effects from my my tree active. Then it would go seventy five percent plus thirty percent, not additive, but thirty percent additional to that seventy five percent. Here's a better way of thinking about it because I think this math makes more sense for just kind of how this is working. So let's take this ability and then use it with my invigorating strike, which has a 50% lucky hit chance by its very nature, the 75%, right? 50%, you do the, the math there, percentile of a percentile brings it down. Of course, it always goes down if it's two percentages, goes to 37 and a half percent. So I, by attacking with this on a chilled enemy, I gain a 37.5% chance to do the damage. However, if I had that additional 30%, remember all the bonuses add up additively, so it would go up to 30%, you would increase that 37.5% to have this actual effect happen by 30%, which would bring it to 48.75%. That's it. That's how it works. <laughs> it's kind of complicated, but what you really just need to take from this as either a new player or even like I want to play end game stuff competitively and, and, you know, be racing for like, you know, world first kills during a season and stuff like that. That's totally fine. If you want to do that, by the way, I'm not making fun of it, but if, if you're either a new player or a, an advanced player, the thing that you really just need to know is you will do additional, uh, lucky hits through bonus effects. That's nice. And just kind of keep an eye on which skills have which lucky hit chance on them. Now, all of the skills are different, obviously. Things that are more single target have typically a higher lucky hit chance. Things that are more AoE typically have a lower, like rapid fire is a 20%. Uh, flurry is a 10%, but like my twisting blades is a 33%. This effect is really nice to understand because then I understand like, if if I'm have a chilled enemy in front of me and I want this 75% thing to go off, the best time to attack with any one of my abilities is to probably throw shadow step in there if it is if it makes sense in the situation. Because then it would do the 75% chance plus the 30% chance on top of that of the 75%. So that is just a, a quick rundown of how this very complicated but kind of simple mechanic works. It's just a thing that you need to understand to understand how your stuff is actually affected. And remember, all of these things are rolled individually. So if I had a different lucky hit effect on another item, then you would notice that both of those would roll each time I did damage to uh, a character, if, if it obviously made sense. Like if I'm attacking a chilled or frozen enemy, then this one would roll. Otherwise, it does not roll at all. 
But if you have any questions on how the system is working, or if you want to leave any suggestions for how, you know, people should be able to solve this a bit easier for math. I'm a bad math person. I'm, I'm more of a writer. I, I suck at math, but this is just one of those things that you have to understand to definitely leave that stuff in the comments below as well. And if you think that this is either really nice uh, of a system of how like the proc chances work and actually breaking it down by percentage so you know what your percentiles are like it, visibly you can do the math if you really needed to or do you think that it's really dumb you know also leave that stuff in the comments below but thank you for watching make sure you subscribe for more diablo guides and we shall see you all next time